Megan. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Megan. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> 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 this is Emily. She will be joining me for this video, and we are going to <laughs> we're going to be ranking the Harry Potter movies today. I'm going to be having my list, and she will have her list, and we're going to compare. I cry. <laughs> when I laugh, I cry. <laughs> so, also be nice to us, okay? Our opinions might not be your opinions, I and that's okay. I have an unpopular opinion, according to my brother. Yeah, and I feel like I have unpopular opinions too, so be nice to us, okay? Leave us alone. Okay, we're gonna start with number eight, last on the list. Okay. Okay. You go first. Okay. My number eight choice is Half Blood Prince. Is your number eight? <laughs> Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. What? Okay. See <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's talk this out, okay? Let's talk this out. So, my reasons for putting Half Blood Prince at the bottom is I just feel like it was kind of. I was disconnected from it. It was. Harry was very moody, you know? And I just, like, wasn't into it. What about that awkward scene? Wait, was that in that one? Yeah, I think it was. That awkward scene between Ron and Harry. Yeah, it's just <laughs> weird. Like, but it's supposed to be. Awkward. I know, but the vibes, like, I just didn't like it. it just <laughs> okay, that's not true. I love all of the movies. Yeah, Let's exactly. Get that it's really hard to say. Yeah, it's Especially hard. It's books. hard to rank them because, like, you love all. of Especially them. for the books. Though. Yeah, but Half Blood Prince is my number eight. <laughs> Why is Goblet of Fire your number eight? Um, because they're all good, and I couldn't choose. But Goblet of Fire, okay. Goblet of Fire, well, that's one of Jack Lee's favorites, too. I'm pretty sure. I've done, I'm, I don't know. I think so. What about the book, Goblet of Fire? Oh, that's a good book. Yeah. That's a good book. See, that's, I think the books kind of sway me a little bit. And yeah, like... I just don't think it was the, it's hard to say because I like all the movies, but at the same time, I don't like all the movies because they're so short compared to the books and yeah. they can't even fit anything in. That's true. But. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like people are going to come for you for that one, though. <laughs> I don't like it. Well, I, I like it. Um, it's my least favorite because it just didn't fit the stuff that needed to be in it. Okay. And, I can respect that. I can respect and that. the maze was too short. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is it? What's your number seven? Hmm. My number seven was Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix. Okay. <laughs> My number seven is Deathly Hallows Part One. That was down there, but then I changed it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Deathly Hallows Part One, like, obviously it's good. All of these are good. But they're just, like, they're not at the school, really. And it's, like, it just doesn't feel as... Harry Potter fun. I know, but they're not supposed to be. I know well, they're not supposed to be, but it's not, it's not like, it's not as fun. But they're not supposed to be at the school. <laughs> they can't, they can't just go off the, the bus. But like, I like being at the school. <laughs> then I guess you'll like Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 better. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, everyone, I, I think everyone likes that yeah, one Yeah, that one is good. Yeah, I don't know. Definitely Hollows Part 1 just wasn't... It didn't hit. It didn't hit. Why Why did you put um, Order of Phoenix? Just because it's sad. <laughs> yeah, it, is. <laughs> it is very sad. Well, I mean, this one's sad, too. They're all pretty sad, yeah. Yeah, all of them hit hard in different <laughs> places. Okay. Just showing off my phone. Oh, my God. Yeah, she got a new phone. Um, it's nicer than mine, so that's super cool. <laughs> have the eight, eight just like yeah. Eight. That's what I was like. I was gonna get the size of the eight, yeah. but, like the technology and stuff of this, but uh, but it was too small because I don't even have a tablet or a, like a computer or anything. And this is what I yeah. usually watch. Yeah, my hands are small, so I need a good a small size. Oh yeah, that's. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but her hand is slightly bigger than mine. Um, okay. <laughs> what? Okay, I'll say my number six. My number six is Chamber of Secrets. <gasps> my number six is Chamber of Secrets. Ah, okay! Our first one we agree on. <laughs> I mean, I love Chamber of Secrets. Don't get me wrong. It's fun. I like, like the book. It, yeah, I love Chamber of Secrets, the book. Yeah. I don't like... Well, I mean, I like... It's farther down on my list because it's just... It's not the best one they made. Like, it's not the my least favorite, but... It's definitely one of the ones where I'm like... I definitely like the book way more than the movie. Like, the book is like a, so much fun. Like, so is the movie. But I just feel like it doesn't. Catch but I like it. that Ginny's like the main one of the main characters. Mm-hmm. Because that makes me happy. But then I don't really, I didn't really enjoy the portrayal of Ginny in the movies necessarily. Yeah. So that's why maybe that's why I like it in the book better. I don't know. I did like um, Colin. What's his last name? Colin Creeley or whatever. Creeley? Yeah, with the with the camera. I think he's freaking hilarious. <laughs> but I love, yeah. Okay, I love Chamber of Secrets, but it is number six. Mm -hmm. It's number six for both of us. Uh, <laughs> I feel like people are going to be mad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your number five? Hmm, good question. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, or the Sorcerer's Stone, or whatever anyone calls it. Okay. Okay. Mine is Order of Phoenix. So not too much farther down than when, yeah. where you had Order of Phoenix. Yeah. But I I love Order of Phoenix. I the, the book is so good. The book is so good. The amount of times that I okay, because when I made this list <coughs> of movies, I actually made it last year when I I like rewatched all the movies in order. I just, I, I've just been watching the movies because can reading the books mm -hmm. and he's on the seventh book. And but like, Order of Phoenix is one of those ones where I like keep wanting to push it farther up my list, but like you can't. I can't because I also love the other ones. But yeah, I love Order of Phoenix. I love the Army of Dumbledore. Dumbledore Army. Dumbledore Army. And I, I feel like I, I don't sound like a fan, but I swear I've read all the books. I've seen all the movies. Yeah, Order of Phoenix is really good and, and Sirius is in it. I love Sirius. I love Sirius. R.I.P. <laughs> okay, but you put Sorcerer's Stone. Why'd you put Sorcerer's Stone? Mm, but, well, I had to put it, like, sort of high because they're so little and they're cute. I know. <laughs> but it's just not the best story line of them all. It is very, it's a smaller it, scale. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's not boring, but it's like... That's just inside the school. Like, I like it when they're in the school for most of the part, most part of it, but, like, then they have to leave for mm -hmm. something like the Order of the Phoenix, even though I put it down. <laughs> I know, you're contradicting it. I know! It's hard, though. Like, I feel like your list can change over time, too, like, depending on, like, when I rewatch movies, like, I'll be like, oh, maybe I'd actually want to put this one out. Yeah, I didn't... What's it? I don't remember which one I didn't like. I think I didn't like like um, the I I don't think I like the Half Blood Prince the first time just because Jack was saying that he didn't like it. Mm. So I didn't like it even though I watched that's the movie I've watched the most times. But right. now that's like my favorite one. I don't know. Yeah, definitely other people's opinions can sway how you feel. My number four is the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh, so that was right, close. Yeah, that was right close. under yours. Okay, what is your number four? Uh, Deathly Hollows. Part. Uno. Uno, wow. You put that, you put that way, way higher than I put it. Yeah, I don't know. You like what? it? Yeah, I like it. I like all of them, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll talk about Sorcerer's Stone a little bit. So it's <laughs> the same, same things you were saying. It's like smaller scale, so that's why it's not as high up on my list. But I love, like, that's just such a feel-good movie. That is the perfect movie to just, like, throw on if you just want to be, like, happy. It's, like, I love when they're, they're so small and little mm -hmm. and they're so <laughs> cute. <laughs> and, like, I like the Christmas vibes. Oh, yes, Christmas. Yeah. Christmas is the best. Uh, and I, I don't know, I like like the beginning with the Dursleys and like you see... Yeah, and the, I like that it's like, um, 
Like, in the book, the Dursley's house is, like, really boring. Mm-hmm. But then in the movies, they make it a little bit more exciting, which is yeah. better. And you, you, you can, you see Harry's struggle. <laughs> you see Struggle. It. And I love Hagrid in that one. Yeah. I like the Sorcerer's Stone. Mm-hmm. 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 So you're number three. Deathly Hallows Part Two. Oh! Wait, what is my number three? <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, it's not the same. Goblet of Fire, which you put last. My Goblet of Fire is at number three. <laughs> Let me talk about the Goblet of Fire and all the reasons I love it. I love Goblet of Fire, the book, obviously, but I also love the movie. I mean, let's get this straight. Edward Cullen, Vampire King, is in it. <laughs> he plays Cedric Diggory. Oh. From Twi- He was yeah. Edward Cullen in Twilight. Have I've never Twilight? seen that. We'll have to watch Twilight sometime. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, I love him. I love Cedric. Um, I just like all the schools coming and like the competition aspect of it. I like a good competition, you know. Competition. And that's like the end of Goblet of Fire is like when stuff gets real. Like you're like, oh. Oh. This, this is serious. <laughs> like <laughs> this, this, this means business. <laughs> Why did you put... Death of Hollows Part 2 at number 3. I was gonna put it at 2, but then I changed it. But, so, I like it because mm, mm, baby Voldemort's in it, like... <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, if they were, he was under that chair or something, and I, all I was doing while I was watching that scene was, baby Voldy. <laughs> <laughs> He's the new version of baby Yoda, baby Voldemort. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> It's sad though because Dobby dies. I know. Or is that the first? The I'm pretty sure he uh, dies. The end of part one, is and then that and is, then they kind of have a funeral for him. Yeah, they two. bury him. Yeah, that was sad. He was digging just without magic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I loved Dobby. I feel like they he didn't get a ton of time to shine in, in the, the movies. At least in the movies, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but in the books, you just have to read the books. Read the books. If this video doesn't teach you anything. At least remember to read the books. Okay, guys? No, I, I agree with that. I actually, I, that makes sense because my number two is definitely <laughs> Hollows Part Two. That's so we're what I was very close. Put it there. Yeah, we're very close on that. Tonight, but it's I put Part Two at number two um, because I love that movie. I think it wrapped it up really well, kind of like brought, brought it all to a head. Um, I thought. Yeah, I just really liked it. It was really good. Okay, so my number two is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Okay. Because I I just saw that movie because yeah. he had just finished the book. And it's sad, but the book is way sadder. Mm-hmm. Because, like, that that thing when he's, like, uh, the fox, fox is, um, last, like, whatever they do. And then it's like, knew that that's the last time he would see him, and then mm-hmm. like he's just gonna be traveling around the world forever and ever. And it's just sad. Yeah. And then he has no one. It's very sad, and like, Harry's emo, and. Emo. You know. <laughs> and I just. But I respect your decision of putting it high on the list. Like, I, I know. You put it on last. Yes, even though I put it on last, like, I can see why somebody else would put it higher on their list. Even though that's a very unpopular opinion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is, I don't think anyone would put it that, like, <laughs> anyone would put it that high. So those were our number twos. Big drum roll for our number ones. My number one favorite Harry Potter movie is Prisoner of Azkaban. Mine's Half Blood Print. No, 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 that's the last one. Mine was Prisoner of Azkaban, too. <laughs> I love Prisoner of Azkaban so much. I, I don't know if it's like my love for the book lead, like, lead yeah, I don't know. to I don't it. Know. Because I that's also my favorite book because in the, the series. Because the movie wasn't like that good. I mean, I, like- I don't know why I think it's so much substantially better than like all the rest of them, but in my mind, Prisoner of Azkaban is just like on another level. I mean, you got the time turner, you have Sirius Black, you've got like the mystery of it going on. It's just, and they're still young enough that it's that it's like cute, but like you can relate to them more. <laughs> why did you put Prisoner of Azkaban at number one? Um, because. 
She punches Malfoy. Yes! <laughs> it's just so good. The, it's just so fun, and Hermione really shines in it. Shine. Shine. Okay, sorry about that. It cut off while we were talking about our favorite movie. But, long story short, we love Prisoner of Azkaban. And <laughs> we love Harry Potter. Isn't that right? It might not seem like it from our... Oh, I our know. memory loss during this video. But we love Harry Potter. If you enjoyed this video, like the like, subscribe and hit the notification bell, and comment down below your ranking stuff. <laughs> yeah, all of what she said. I'll even link her down below if you want to check out her TikTok. All my links are in the description. I'm gonna make a YouTube channel. She's gonna make a YouTube channel. Except you heard of her first. I have twenty dollars, and that's it. So I don't have enough for a camera. <laughs> anyway, bye! Goodbye! <laughs> um, the, 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 the thing for the, the, the